All right, YouTube, just a little update on what I've been working on with my mini lathe, the 38 millimeter four stock lathe I got from solar.gene on eBay. I ended up getting, this is from Grizzly, a dial indicator. I checked my run out on the three jaw chuck and it was within a hundred thousandths. That isn't too bad. Um, the jaws are actually centered pretty well. I did get also a, uh, a tailstock chuck. And when I went to um, try to center things up on my tailstock, this is, you know, I'm, I'm getting a, uh, a live center in the mail in the next day or two. But let me see if I can get in here and show this to y'all, if it focuses. Okay, now it doesn't want to play. I'm about 40,000, oh, come on. <laughs> Ridiculous. I'm about 40,000 off. There we go. There, you can see that. I'm about 40 thousandths off center to center, and that's just a center drill in my three jaw chuck right now. But I'm 40 thousandths off. And I tried shimming up the tailstock, front and rear. Um, I just used what I had on hand, so don't, don't give me a hard time or anything. I just used some uh, straight razors. From a box cutter put those in front and rear um, these mic'd out to be a total of 45 thousandths it, they weren't exactly 20 thousandths each one was 20 the other one was 25 so um, I can mix and match but I went with 45 and 45 front and rear because oh and then here's the next problem the tailstock nut is underneath the plate. Right now it's actually tack welded, if you can see that. So with the nut under the plate, sorry for the video, with the nut under the plate and then the shims in the tailstock, it actually raised it up too high and I actually didn't have any threads coming through the tailstock. Well, I had one thread maybe out of three that go through the nut. And after contemplating what I wanted to do, I just decided to uh, break out my MIG welder and my extension cord that I had to run through to the laundry room, plug it in, and tack the nut on this plate. Now the nut will be on the top side. I'll have plenty of threads and room for my adjustment. So let me go ahead and maybe set up this camera here so you can see. And I'll pull the tailstock off. Now the nut will go up before it was actually on the bottom of this guide plate. And I can run my threads through about the thickness of the nut is what I want. It's not quite tight enough. That one 
might be too tight. And there we go. I got the tightness I need. I'll go ahead and throw. I'm not adjusted left or right yet. I can back that off a little. But now I can back this off, stick the shims in that I need, and still have plenty of thread on the nut to capture it. Tighten that up again, a couple turns, not tight enough. Probably going the wrong direction. I'm getting closer now. Okay, that'll do it. Make sure those uh, razor blades are up underneath there where I won't catch my fingers on them. Just snug this down just a little bit so you can see the height adjustment now when I run it back up to the center drill. Okay, and as you can see, it might be just a hair high right there. I can go ahead and uh, shim it a little bit more or less, but at least it's not 40 thousand too low. And I'm not running out of adjustment now on my tailstock locking nut. So that's what we got here going on. Um, for the price, I'd be happy to tinker with a few things and adjust a few things to get it right. But overall, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, when I did research on buying a lathe, I looked at Gri Grizzly lathes, and they're from China. Um, they might be a little bit better fit and finish but I wasn't about to spend close to uh, $1600 and only get a 21 millimeter spindle bore so that's why I opted with uh, with this alright thanks for watching